Today was the 450th day of Energy Suraj Yatra and we spent today in place called Basar in Telangana. Uh, in the morning we woke up late because yesterday we were very tired uh, but immediately there was uh, there were programs in Triple IT Basar. So, Triple IT uh, is a very very big campus almost like a 400 acres of campus. Uh, it was a new project of the government and that wanted to make Triple IT as rural IIT and uh, when I went there it was really nice uh, to see a lot of infrastructure uh, in fact they had an interesting program where they give six years a degree where they take student after 10th and uh, from rural area and uh, then they do 11 12th and also do the engineering at the same time well my first program was for the pre-university student and I was so uh, pleasantly surprised that the hall was full of students, almost 1500, 1600 students were there in the hall. And uh, they were so energetic and when I entered the hall they greeted me like a uh, lot of cheers and applause. So I really felt good about it. Uh, there was a lot of noise also in the hall because so many people were there. Uh, but I could deliver my lecture and every time I was interacting with the student uh, there was a lot of loud and loud cheer was there. After the program, um, uh, I wanted to take a photo with them, so I went among them and this kind of whole crowd poured on me. A lot of people wanted to you know, uh, take selfie with me. They actually, uh, even after coming out of the ho uh, hall, they chased me and they came uh, long distance with me and many people took a selfie. Uh, there was a second program with the engineering student, you know, those who are already in engineering with and the faculty member. Uh, on the contrary to the first program where there were a lot of cheers uh, and noise was there, this was a completely clean drop silence and almost 300, 350 students were there. Rather than giving a speech, I decided to take a question answer and uh, I really enjoyed. There was a pin drop silence uh, among all. Uh, there were questions and I personally uh, was enjoying answering those questions and uh, it was really great. Even there was a third session immediately after that where there was an interaction with the faculty members and authorities regarding what action can take, they can take and uh, that also really went well. I was so uh, kind of uh, taken aback by the, the quality of the conference hall that is. It was a very, very high quality, big conference hall, big table, very nicely decorated carpet. I have not seen such uh, conference hall even in IITs. Well, by that time uh, I was really tired. Uh, we had a lunch there itself. We came back to place where we are staying in, in an ashram. Uh, we took some rest also, worked a little bit, but then uh, there was a beautiful aarti in the evening. Uh, the ashram was located near Godavari River. So we went there walking, uh, which was about a, a kilometer of walk, a kilometer walk. And uh, there was a Rudra Abhishek, uh, I, I could perform it. They were so kind to let me uh, do it right on the bank of Godavari river. Uh, then there was a Godavari uh, Aarti, Ganga Aarti and, uh, and also the um, Harman Chalisa. And somehow the atmosphere was so nice and the quality of uh, all you know uh, chanting was so nice. I And first time I would say enjoyed you know singing uh, Harman Chalisa so nice and the Aarti so nice. I really loved it and I was kind of immersed into it. Uh, later, uh, we came to the ashram. Uh, I wanted to spend some time with the, uh, the Swamiji here, Shri Shri Veda Vidya Nanji. Uh, we had a really good chat. Uh, Swami uh, Shri Veda Vidya Nanji want Ved knowledge to be taught by, to everyone, irrespective of their caste. And uh, he has some strong opinion about why Ved is not taught to everyone and why it is limited to only Brahmins and why it should not become part of the school curriculum. Uh, we had really good time uh, with him. Uh, later we enjoyed the dinner and uh, as usual we had our evening meeting and went to sleep. So the day 450 was really really interesting, awesome and uh, eventful.